Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, you're welcome to Thursday, the fifth day of November 2020. The week is really running fast this month of November, and we thank God for that. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is irrelevance, the result of idleness. The Bible says, by much slothfulness, the building decayeth, and through idleness of the hands, the house dropped through. Ecclesiastes 10, 18, thought for the day. Reuben became irrelevant because of the refusal to accept responsibility. The scripture makes it clear that one of the tragedies of Reuben was the spell of indolence. This spell of indolence even affected the future generations of Reuben. Now you remember when Deborah was to go to battle, she called the Reubenites, but they were indecisive in Judges chapter 5, verse 15 to 16. And in Judges chapter 5 and verse 16, it says the divisions of Reuben were, in the divisions of Reuben were great searchings of the heart. The Reubenites seemed to be asking themselves, should we go to battle? Should we not go to battle? Hey, let's relax, so, and so on and so forth. And what happened? This rendered the Reubenites indecisive and useless. You know, the lack of both agility and a sense of responsibility of the part of the Reubenites was the reason why, uh, I beg your pardon, on the part of Reuben, their forefather, he was not agile enough, he wasn't responsible enough. That was why they sold Joseph into slavery. He was the firstborn. He should have insisted on his brothers not killing Joseph or selling him. But instead, they put him in a pit, planning to come back and kill him. And he made a suggestion that they should rescue him from the pit later. But they had gone ahead and sold him instead before he could come to rescue him from the pit. Reuben returned later to rescue Joseph from the pit. And it was too late. Why? Because... He, Joseph, had been sold. As a firstborn, Reuben should have stood his ground and told them, I'm the firstborn in this family. You will not touch this boy. You will not sell him. You will not kill him. I'll take him home now. And if he had insisted, he would have prevailed over his brothers. But he refused to take responsibility. He refused to be decisive. He was just laid back. And eventually, Joseph was sold into slavery. If you are looking for kings or priests in Israel, you, you, and you, you go to the tribe of Judah or the tribe of Levi, you will find them. But Reuben became irrelevant. Why? Because of the refusal to accept responsibility. Beloved, by all means, resist idleness. Resist sloppiness. Resist it. Remember this, that Reuben became irrelevant because of the refusal to accept responsibility. That shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus. What's our assignment today? Number one, refuse to be slothful, but be agile and active and responsible in life. And number two, decide to engage your life, your time, your energy in profitable activities. Praise God. Let's pray. Say after me, Father, thank you for your word to me today. Deliver me, Lord from every form of slothfulness and irresponsibility. I receive your help to take responsibility today. Oh Lord, in Jesus name, praise God. Hallelujah, congratulations. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like to pray for somebody today. You want to be born again. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me, say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know that I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Praise God. Congratulations. I'm happy you prayed that. And I know that the Lord has answered you in Jesus' name. And today is your birthday, the 5th of November, 2020. Congratulations. I pray for you today that the good hand of the Lord be made manifest in your life. I pray for added grace. I pray for more of God's help. I pray for God's um, um, guidance and preservation and protection on your life in the name of Jesus. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Congratulations. The Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine on you in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day today.